Celestron staff members from all parts of the organization regularly volunteer to work at these after-hours events. The best reward for them is to see that excitement on the face of a child looking through the scope for the first time. And to pass on the torch of a lifelong hobby. Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Kawai. I'm the Community Relations Coordinator with Celestron. It is my great pleasure to be here with you all tonight. Well, I'd like to tell you a little story about myself. When I was seven years old, my parents took me to the Griffiths Park Observatory where a kind gentleman had his telescope set up on the lawn. And he told me, would you like to come up to my telescope and see Saturn? And I said, sure. So he picked me up and he held me to the eyepiece. And lo and behold, when I looked in the eyepiece, I saw Saturn with the rings around it. And ever since then, I was always hooked on astronomy because it's such a fascinating, fabulous hobby. And it inspired me as I grew older to learn more about science and astronomy. And that's something that what we like to accomplish with all of you tonight. We like to introduce science, astronomy, and the hobby to all of you so that someday you yourselves can be inspired to grow up to be you know, the next generation teachers, scientists, or if you really put your mind to it, you can even grow up to become an astronaut. How's that sound? Kevin's story is by far not a unique one. Numerous future scientists and engineers got bitten by the technology bug as children while visiting the Griffith Observatory, a world-famous landmark overlooking the City of Angels. I got interested in astronomy at a very young age. My father was a missile engineer uh, in Pomona and had a general interest in all different kinds of things. So I got taken to concerts and museums and things all around. One of the first things I remember seeing is the Palomar Observatory, which at that time was 14 years old, so it was still a brand new engineering marvel. Today, Palomar Observatory, one of the engineering marvels of the 20th century, conceived by visionary George Ellery Hale, still continues to ignite the imaginations of youngsters visiting the observatory from all corners of the world. In the last couple of years with my job here at Palomar, I've had a chance to, to meet up with people like Kevin from Celestron, uh, Michelle and a few other people, and it's always been a really exciting, positive interaction. It's nice to meet up people in the industry, and while they're at a different region of the spectrum from Palomar Observatory, we're all working towards the same thing. You know, From the observatory standpoint, we want to increase everyone's knowledge of the universe, but at the same time, from the public outreach that we do here at Palomar, we want to produce that next generation of astronomers. And it's exciting to see, from my perspective, that Celestron isn't only interested in selling telescopes. I mean, that's, a, that's an important part of the business, but they also want to educate people because the sky is cool. The universe is exciting. There are awesome things going on. And the best way to find out is not just go to astronomy picture of the day and see this picture someone took, but to go out and see for yourself. And the best way to see for yourself is to attend a star party. Whether it's at a White House, the Toberman House, or your neighbor's house, getting your kids to look through a scope at the awesome night sky is one of the best ways to spark their scientific curiosity. Hi, my name is Scott Morgan. I'm the president of the Wiseman Ed Education Foundation. This is my son, Jake Morgan. Today's event is the first annual event, the first annual event where Celestron and the Wiseman Education Foundation have, have formed together to bring, that, to bring together the first annual stargazing night here at uh, Dana. My name is Abel Somieta. I'm father of Noah and Simone Somieta. My kids are interested in telescopes and the moon and, you know, they like the space stuff and they're curious, especially my five-year-old, so here I am chasing them around. My son's into Star Wars because he's at that age where he's into that, so it's, you know, something we do extra where he's able to look at space and able to look at the moons. We've gone up to the Griffith Observatory, so he loves the stuff and he's into it. So as long as he's curious and not sitting at home doing video games, I'm, I'm all about it. And I get to enjoy it with him also. I think parents have to be interested in it also uh, if they see that you as a parent like it or like looking at the stars or as excited as they are, they're obviously going to copy you as an adult. Now, if you're not interested in it, obviously they're not going to find most focus in it. Once in a while I think they will, but in most cases my kid does it because I do it and he loves it and I love it too. Hi, I'm 
Tyler Elias, my daughter Shannon, she goes to Dana Middle School. I did come out for the science fair. Shannon's going to HMSA, which is a math and science academy next year, and uh, science is very important, so I definitely wanted to come out and support. More people need to get into engineering and science because uh, that's what keeps us ahead. I mean, we were in the 60s, we were ahead, we were the first ones on the moon, but uh, we kind of faltered, I think. We need to get more people to be uh, back into doing things like that. We're looking at the moon at dawn and, and the humongous uh, telescopes, and it's beautiful, it's amazing. I mean, looking at it with the naked eye is pretty, but it's another thing to see it up close. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It makes me want to like just read more about it and see, like, like all these people come out here and they're like teaching about it. And I don't know. I just want to learn more about it. When I grow up, I'm going to be a pilot for the Air Force. <laughs> she likes flying. Obviously. Yeah. Maybe you could fly, be an astronaut, fly to the moon. You know, being uh, don't limit yourself to just being a pilot. You know, be an astronaut, and then when you retire from astronaut, then you can be a pilot. And that is the point. Give your children positive direction. Get them excited about science and nurture their pursuit. And once they get started on a lifelong journey of discovery, then the sky is truly the limit.